Keeley. I'm a senior at Bellevue East. What can I say except you're welcome? And this poem's name is God. God is something you keep in your a jar for rainy days. You know the days you crawl under your covers, pull them tight over your mouth, try to block out your screams from the rain because you don't want them to replace the booming thunder. Because the lightning's what's going to put you to sleep some nights. I say some nights because sometimes you just have to stay awake till it stops so you can say you outlasted something so unearthly. Because you know you can't be God. You know all you can do is pray angry prayers and hope he's listening. You can tell yourself that the sky can handle the thunder booming in its being, then you can handle the sound of your heart crumbling as it fights its way out of your chest. And if the pavement can handle the rain beating down on it so inconsistently, then you can handle the unevenness of your heaving breath. As your throat claws for air and you wish God could hear you, but then again you don't, because that would only mean he didn't care, that he didn't want to listen. And if you can't believe he cares, then you have nothing. God is something you keep in your pocket for the times you want to remember something good. And the only memories that come to mind are those of stained glass window notches you'd hide in when you were a kid. And your grandpa smiling at you for the last time because you were just glad he could still do it. And you're not sure which one looks more like God because you can never relate to church. But it was the only time you could see such deep faith in people because you seemed to have lost all of yours. And grandpa didn't talk about God, but he constantly walked by him. No matter how dark it was outside, no matter how many times he had to get back up, you never got how he could do it. He always told you be when the street lights go on because darkness is dangerous, but when you told your mother you wanted the lights on, she, said, she told you there was nothing to fear, that the shadows were just figments of your imagination, but you battled them anyways, alone, because no one could believe a little girl had anything darker than a chocolate chip stained open mouth smile. God is like a priest in a confession booth, always listening, never heard. If they just disappeared, you go on talking and talking to nothing. So.